Welcome to another video session on uh, cloning. A lot of students ask the purpose of cloning. So we thought we will present a simple video to explain this simple concept. Let's take our whiteboard. As you know, in, uh, in Java, it's all about classes right we have classes and classes have subclasses and uh, it goes on right and uh, to in order for these classes to work for us we make objects out of them using this where keyword called new class when whenever we do this uh, this new operator we always get an object of particular type and uh, the the operator new is very expensive right let's see why it's expensive let's say we have somewhere a sub subclass deep down and uh, it created an object by calling new right somebody made a new object of type sub subclasses what this does is it has to go and create and compute all the constructors right it has to go all the way up the chain, compute everything, and then come back and create a new object for us. This is a good thing in object-oriented programming and also a bad thing. If the programmer has designed several classes and subclasses and the list goes on, this is very expensive. This is very expensive because it takes a lot of time to do the computation. In order to avoid this computation, right, is, is, is we use cloning. Clone or cloning, whatever that is. So what is the benefit of cloning? If you look at all the classes or objects, right, deep inside the computer, very deep inside the computer, right, it doesn't matter. It's all about zeros and ones. Any object that, that you take, it has to be a zero or a one, right? Doesn't matter. So all these classes or objects eventually has to be zeros and ones deep inside the computer. Now if you want to do a new object, it has to go and compute all these things, eventually end up zeros and ones as a new object. But now you don't want to do any of this all you got to do is just copy this bits and bytes just like how you copy files right you copy files so you just tell the java mission or java hey i don't want to do any of this just give me a copy so it'll do it for you so you don't have to do any of this computation that we talked. You just tell the JVM, hey, just give me a copy of this. And I'll rename it as something else, right? So you got exact copy of a object into another object we call as a clone. A cloned object doesn't go through any of this it just goes through bits and bytes of the object 
that you created in the past and creates an identical copy for you so that is the benefit of cloning but still you might ask why is so beneficial why can't I just do it our CPU our PC is extremely fast in copying bits and bytes as there is hardware deep inside your CPU that you just copy zeros and ones in a fraction of fraction of a second than computing all these things so that is why people prefer cloning okay I hope that clarifies your question